just coming past probably 24 hours a day. You have reached your destination, Seep Street. Seep Street crosses the, the main highway. There used to be a free camp over there, God, you'd never sleep beside the highway, and um, it's right next to the toilet block was right behind it, right on the highway, backs onto a school, it was just everything wrong about it. It says no camping, so. Apparently it's down this way. Cool. Stupid little prick. Notice. 20 hours. Snow through road. So if that's the case, you can't go down there. You can't go in there. It's just rubbish. No camping, no camping, no camping. It's just crap. It's, not, it's just crap. Snow through road. Okay, let's go back down and have a look through there, eh? What do you think, baby?
go and have a look. Here it is, Linville Station. There's a picture of a toilet. I know they have free showers, toilets, and I think there's an honesty box um, for people who want to give a donation. I call it an honesty box because it's honest people that would give a donation in the first place. Yeah, this is a, a part of the trail. It's called the Brisbane Valley Trail. I'm not sure how long it goes for, but forever and a day. Looks pretty cool. There's lots of camping spots here. I don't like people, but I'll tell you what, it's not too bad. I have seen worse. All these mature people like myself, they're all doing this, riding the trail that I mentioned just before. Good on them. Not for me, too hot. Whatever turns them on. Yeah, look at this, it's brilliant. Looks like a pretty high class of people here too. Got a bunch of ferals. Doesn't look like it's that level. For a vehicle, I sleep in the vehicle, so it's nice if you can get somewhere level. Okay, very nice, very pretty. Not for me, that's my keys bouncing around if you can hear it. Not for me, looks like you can go all the way up there if you wish to. It might be alright. I'm gonna go and check out my other one. If it's no good, well, we might come back here. Why not? Why the heck not, I say. Hmm. Guess it's not really the road, but it's my road. There's a young man young man on his pushy that's setting up a camp there. I don't know if it's second childhood or what. I shouldn't say that. He'll probably come and find me. It's not something I would want to do. Like I'm roughing it too, but not that rough. It's funny how people do it at these mature ages. I don't know. Maybe they have a big orgy or something up the bush somewhere where they camp overnight. Or... Maybe there's lovely people that talk to God through the bush, I don't know. Firewood. They sell firewood. Oh, what a horrible thought that they like fires. There's the pub. Get a good view of it there. The Linball Pub. Good meals. Like everything nowadays, probably not the cheapest thing in the world. And I'm sure they have great beer. Okay. We're heading up this way. It's not Linville Road that we'll be going out on. I think it was Linville Road that we entered. What's this sign here say? Well, that's just rubbish. It says George Street, but okay, we'll go over George Street, Main Street. One of the sexy men there that are on the right that live here. Holding up the front railing. Or it's holding him up, I'm not sure. Hey, people are going to come and find me from all directions, I think, with my dodgy humour. There's an old bridge there that is all fenced off, barricaded off, so I'd say it would fall down if you even attempted to. Actually, I was going to say, if you attempted to go on it, I could see it. somebody else's video the other day when they were on the trail, they're doing the trail, so it was a video about that, and you could see underneath the bridge it was all rotting away. I guess, why not, you know, as long as it's not going to fall on someone's head as they go underneath it, that should be okay. <coughs> Maybe I'd say that because nearly every time I ever came here I was a bit confused. Because it's just on 
have a look. I think this might be it. Did everybody see what that was called? Moners, Monersdale Creek Road. Mons, Monsdale, I think it is. I think the the eye might be a bit silent. Pretty sure this is it on the right. It's got a fence there now. It never used to. So, oh, I hope you can go in there and not. Hope it hasn't been sold by the council or some farmer or something. That'd be terrible for me. It's a waste of petrol. But I haven't given up yet. Here's a grid. So obviously there's cows running around. I can't see any people out here. Yes, I can. That's a good sign. If someone's camping out here, that's a good sign. That will be brilliant if it is. Wow, great. There's at least one person there. Two. I wouldn't say it's four-wheel drive country. All the times I've been here, I've never had a four-wheel drive. So, big deal. Hopefully there's enough room. I can see there's fences everywhere. I hope there's enough room for us. I don't think there is. I think they've fenced it all off. Mongrels. That's what they are, aren't they? They're mongrels. They're fencing it all off. That's all I can say. God, it's tiny. It used to be really big, but it's still... It should do the job, I think. It should do the job, Reg. somewhere that'd be nice wouldn't it it's my boy after one night camping he's absolutely knackered stay there David. Pretty cool.
particular highway, it is on your right. Yeah, there's trucks back at Black, but I don't think you would ever get one minute sleep, which may explain why there's not one person in here. It looks fantastic. I know it's on a river. I'm not sure where this goes. It's possibly just a dead end for uh, someone says for sale. Wow. Interesting. Oh, yes, there's a. That's the must be their driveway there. Lucky it's a drought out here most of the time, miss. You have no chance. It's even got water across it now and hasn't rained in, someone told me, six months. So I thought that uh, the read ups were about how great the swimming hole is here, but I would honestly doubt whether you're legally allowed to go in there. We'll find that out in a minute. And the other thing is, well, definitely lack of shade, but the other thing is, um, the noise has just been the incredible noise of the trucks going past. It's got to power up a hill at either side of here, it's at the bottom of the hill, so then they're going to gun it from here. A couple of toilets, no showers, just a toilet, look like they're new. It's supposed to be a great swimming spot and uh, I looked up some photos on the place and it had a picture of, you know, like the animals here, a ferocious picture of bulls and things. So obviously a bit of a comedian. Yeah, you can't swim in that. It's, um, I don't know if you'll get it in the camera. I'll just reverse back here. Just straight down there. It is just a mess. Covered in poo, as in weed. Stagnant, not running either, so it wouldn't be overly healthy, probably. Yeah, looks nice. Even throw a fishing line in, it'd be. If you're thinking about fishing, which I was, so I got bait in the back, it would be a, a bit of a nightmare, so. Off to the next spot, I think. What I might do first is get out and turn off the light in the back of the car that I've left on for hours and hours and hours. Luckily it's LED, it doesn't really matter. Would eventually, I suppose. Okay, my boy, stay in the car. Okay, we're entering Nango now from Brisbane. Radio off, we're entering Nango from Brisbane. everywhere when I was here last time I was just here on the right pretty well on the highway and now they've certainly cleaned it up wow one two three three four tents now it was just there was these massive structures that they've been there for 20 years before it was a disgrace but now it's really nice not sure what it's called some park Community Park, as for what it's called, well, I'll let you know and put it up on the screen. We didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, ugh, smoke up there in Benarca and it was weird. It was beautiful After 50 place, metres, turn weird. right, A3, King Street, then at the end of the road, turn left. Oh, this stupid thing's trying to get me to go somewhere else because I've already programmed it. Turn right, it. then at the end of the road, turn left. 
yeah, it's different now. There's a peanut van here too. There's one in King of Roy, one here. I'm not sure if there's any anywhere else, but yeah, it looks like a really nice people here. No issue. Turn left, A3, King Street. You can walk to the... Uh, if I can get Turn away. left. Shush. Um, it's right next to a service station too, on the edge of Nanango. And the petrol price looks cheaper than Brisbane. That does not surprise me in the slightest. Boy, do we get ripped off. Okay, I'm leaving here. And I'm going to a place called... Um, oh, I'll put up the correction if I'm wrong. Broadwater Camping Reserve. It's at Sandy Ridges. It's on the Gumeri Road. Follow A3 King Street towards Gumeri for 14 kilometres. There you go. Navigation device told me all about it. But yeah, we're going to a place called Sandy Ridges. And it's usually gorgeous, but from what I've seen at other places I've looked at the last few days, it's yeah, there's not much um happened out of the sky. There's been very little rainfall, which means everything gets a bit weedy and read it read it up and it's a bit hard to swim in or fish in or anything. So we'll go and have a look. There's nothing here. There's no phones, there's no nothing, so gotta be prepared to rough it. We love roughing it, don't we, Red? Red's my Kelpie beside me. We will survive. It's my younger brother. <laughs> I always used to say that to the wife when there was someone a little bit less fortunate than myself. I've been there before, not to have chicken, but there's a place called Country fried chicken if it's yeah it's still going and it was good food there looks like it's locked up there's a man trying to get in having no success this is the main street crossing here is the main street of Nanango nice little country town I know what you want you want the air conditioner all right Me too. follow A3 Burnett Highway for 12 kilometers Leaving in Ango on the road to Gamari. Where we go, we just sit with the cows and talk to them. Now we went. Went to Kelpie. Well, I've been here so many times. The biggest problem you have here is. Hey Reg, at least, at least we're so lucky that we did, you know, we know we have to open the gate ourselves. Hi dog. Wow, hopefully you don't go as far past as what I just did there. There is a sign, I was just mesmerised staring at the car in front. Road. Collins Electrical Contracting on a big tree. Not sure if that'll be there when you come, but this house can't be seen from the road, but it's got a dirt road going right past it. Interesting to know whether there's a million dogs going to do the usual. Well, I say a million. Well, that's certainly. I used to be a salesperson once upon a time. It was one of my jobs. So. Sold things, especially cars and stuff. You gotta learn to tell them. Pork pies? No, can't see a dog inside. It's probably too hot for them. I hope it's not. I won't unpack too much, but it would be 
track around tree. Baby, you can hop up now. That's you. Stay there, baby. That's what you expect. I've just gone to the far end. Of the water sites going up over the top of the hill and there's a lot of look like homes people living there so just like they're old old caravans that don't look like they're roadworthy and uh yeah so this is what you can expect if you're that's my dog down there red one i've been talking to what a beauty you can't have him and uh there's a fence line there, so you can't get past that. Totally free here, but gotta bring everything yourself. Red, look how cute you are. Red, look. He's not used to being off the lead. There are a lot of cows around here at certain times, so you just gotta make sure you look after your dog at those times. Sun will set across that paddock there, so it's gonna be spectacular later. It's very hot here if you're out in the sun. A lot of people are because of their solar charging systems. Yeah, it's very reedy. You can go swimming if you go right up, right up, right up, right up, right. There's a corner up there as far as you can see on this and it turns to the left and there's a, a, a real bend there and a real deep good swimming hole. So, wonderful. Don't have to undo much unpacking this. I used to come with all this crap, you know. Camper trailers, etc, etc. Family members. Now yeah, we just rough it in the car. It takes me a while to stand up in the mornings. I've never had this spot. There's usually someone here, but no one wants it. There's a whole bunch of people down that corner. That was all gone down there. There was that bend where you can fish and swim, which is later. But you can go in here anywhere just make your own track or there's tracks all through it as I said right up the top of the hill there opposite where we're just looking at the water so there's the water there's the fence and if you go all the way up up there up that way as tracks go through there there's a lot of people living up there a crazy ball man dog who now has also found his loves birds don't you mate Later. Gotta get my toes to recover. So many birds here, it's amazing. Look at him. He doesn't chase birds, he just ran down there to see them taking off, I think. He doesn't chase anything, do you, buddy? You love them all. Heaps of swans here, too. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, and here there's a mummy out giving lessons to some little ones. And Dad's keeping an eye from a bit of a distance. I've got a hand line in here, one my dad gave me. It's probably about a hundred years old, this hand line. I'm 66 and he gave it to me yeah, probably 40 years ago. And he he's pulled in some big monsters on this reel. Fortunately, I haven't got um, nylon line on it. I've got some sort of string line on it. You can't throw it out. It just binds up for all those fishing enthusiasts. Yeah, some weird, weird mice. Yeah, so like oh, look who's here, my oh, boy. Yesterday. And 
this morning when I got here. Pretty amazing, eh? Get some sun for you. Quite a few people here, but there's so much room. It's not an issue. Anyhow, I will catch you and you, Red. Hey, I'll catch you all later. A nice fire planned for later. And if you're not sure, I'm solo camping too. No one will come camping with me. At least I insisted on them saying that. Okay, thank you. And I'll catch you up in the next place we go to. You can't even see the pelican, can you? There you can, you can see it now, the pelican, look. Pretty cute, Reggie. Give you a hot tip if you uh, have a chainsaw at home, or good with an axe, or even a reciprocating saw with a good sized blade on it. There's enough timber out here to keep you going for the rest of your life. There's just gum trees everywhere. We don't make them type gum trees where the, all the branches just fall off them. And the white ants chew away at everything and perfect. Perfect for firewood. Some you wouldn't touch like that unless you're on a lot of fire right where it is. But it's just amazing. This is just a, a walk about halfway up the track to the gate where I came in, but there's a lot of people up that way and they're probably sleeping. I was up in the dark and then the dark was taken over by fog. And then, well, what time we got now? 8 a.m been up three hours and it's it's definitely lighter but no big deal it's even firewood there's been people in various places not a bad spot if you like to be back away from things somewhere in here too there's also a cricket pitch this was um, um the forces part of the adf owned all this land once upon a time check that out in history and see what you can find um and part of their recreational facilities were a cricket pitch in here. I have played cricket on that when I was, oh, between 50 and 60 years ago I played cricket on it. And I know it's still in here, but you got to look for the big open space. And in my opinion, it's about where we're standing, but I can't see it. Somewhere in here, there is a cricket pitch. old concrete one. Look at this that someone's left here. That's just amazing, isn't it? It's a long way back to the car. But we might take a piece. We burned up everything last night we had. Red, which part do you want to carry? Okay, I'll turn this off now and uh, pick something up. Unfortunately, it's quite a long way back and my car is it's got an awning off it. I'm not moving it, so... See you They're always in it, Red. Yeah, they're normally in this section here, and I don't mind the fact they're not. It's probably because it's school holidays. Plus they uh, alternate them between fields. Rest one, which is where we are, and then thrum over there. That's where they're all trying to get their heads through the fence to get this green grass. I hadn't seen them until I think this morning they showed up. Here's Red. Red is here again, aren't you? Hey, buddy. There he is. Just in the sunset, and always looking at the ducks on the on the board water. Hello. Close up. Wow. Not bad for 85. If I put this in, we'll see what happens, eh? <laughs> mm, oh well. <laughs>